Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to graph the following equations using the x and y intercepts only. All right. So our goal is to take these equations, which are in standard form, and we're going to use the x and y intercept terms to get the graph of each equation, which should be very easy and straightforward. All right. Now, to begin this, what we're going to do is we're just going to um, start by drawing a little box and plot for our x and y intercepts. And usually what we do to do this is just draw this kind of crosshatch, where on top we put an x and we put a y. Now, when the x-intercept occurs, the y-value is 0. And when the y-intercept occurs, the x-value is 0. And so we're going to use these values of x and y to substitute for x or y and solve for the counterpart so that we can get the coordinates of the intercepts and then draw the graph easily. So here we'll put our graph. And we'll do the work directly under this, as it won't take too much of our time. So to, to begin, we're going to start by substituting the value of 0 for y. So we have negative 2x's plus 5y's equal 10. And so we're substituting 0 for the y. Now, this is going to cancel out the 5, and we just get rid of it. So we're left with negative 2x's equal 10. And finally, we solve for x by dividing both terms by the coefficient of x. And this here is going to give us x equals negative 5. So our x-intercept is negative 5 and 0. Now we're going to do the same thing for our y-intercept by substituting the value of x as 0. So we have negative 2x plus 5y is equal 10. And our x value again is 0. So it's negative 2 times 0 plus 5 times y equals 10. And this again cancels anything times 0 is 0. So we're left with 5y's equal 10. And when we divide both sides by 5 here, we're left with y equals 2. So our y-intercept is 2, while our x-intercept is negative 5. So we're going to go down here 5 lines over to negative 5. We're going to go up here 2 lines up. To 2. Our intercepts for the x and our y are negative 5 and positive 2. And we're just going to draw a line through them. And there's our graph of our equation for the first problem. Um, don't judge my art too much. Remember, this is math, not art class. But just remember, this should be a straight line. If you're graphing this on paper, make sure you use a straight edge. Connect the two dots and draw a line through them. All right. Let's go to problem number 2 now. So here for problem two, we have again our x, our y. We're getting our intercepts. We have 0 for y, 0 for x. And we'll begin again by creating our graph here. This is going to go a lot of great distance, but let's hope it goes a little less. So let's begin by substituting our y value of 0 in first, right? So we have negative 8x's plus 6 times 0. Is 24, our 6 goes away, and we're just left with this. So we divide both sides by negative 8. This becomes x equals negative 3. There's our x-intercept, negative 3 and 0. Our y-intercept, negative 8x plus 6y equals 24. Our y-intercept occurs when x is 0. So we have negative 8 times 0 plus 6y is equal 24. This goes away to 0. We divide both sides by 6. And our y value is 4. And now here, what we're going to do is we're going to write this. Where our x-intercept is negative 3, 0. So we go 3 left from the point of origin. And our y-intercept is 4, so we go up from the point of origin. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here's 4, here's negative 3, and we draw a straight line to the two points. So this is what the graph of the equation would look like. Moving on to our third and final problem. We're going to start with our x and y intercepts again. Here we have 0 and 0. And here's our graph. This should be the biggest of all, since the values of x and y are pretty small the coefficients, so we leave a little bit extra slack here. And we're going to begin by solving for our x-intercept. So we have 3x's minus 4y's equal 24. 
and we begin by substituting our 0 for y, where this is going to go away. We're just left with 3x equals 24. We divide by the 3, and we have x equals 8. So our x-intercept is 8, 0. So this is going to go a lot further over to the right. Let's extend this. And now let's get our y-intercept. So we have 3x's minus 4y's equal 24. And what we're doing here is we're substituting a 0 for x again. So we have 3 times 0 minus 4y's equal 24. This goes away, so we're left with negative 4y equals 24. We divide by negative 4. And we have y is equivalent to negative 6 when we divide, positive by a negative. So here we have our values. So we're going 8 over from the point of origin. Here's our 8. And we're going 6 down. And here's our negative 6. And here are our two points. We're going to just connect the dots. Make sure you use a straight edge when connecting your dots. And that covers our equations. Thank you.